are a core three things that I cannot stand in life. The first one is basements. Our basements is basements. Why do you need a basement? If you need another room, why does it have to be underground? What are you hiding? The second thing that I cannot stand are people that just deny people basic human rights because they are a word that I cannot say in the first 30 seconds of a video. And the last thing in life that I just can't stand are babies. I don't have anything technically personal against babies. I've never been wronged by a baby yet. And I don't care if you have a baby. Just keep the baby as far away from me as possible. And I feel like the Sims team knew this. I feel like they got a hunch like, hmm. I think she might be a baby hater. Which is why they specifically created the scenario for me. I know they didn't say that they made this specifically for Fake Gamer Girl, but I feel like they made too many toddlers for me. And because the rest of you are sadistic as fuck, you want to watch me suffer. Which is why today I'm going to be trying out the too many babies scenario and try try to beat it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it for real this time. I won't cheat like I, I did last time. Maybe. Me during the Sims 4's launch. Oh, why aren't there toddlers? This game needs toddlers. And now I'm like, please keep the toddlers as far away from me as possible. I really don't want them. All right, enough of this. You guys are just here to watch me suffer. Let's, let's just do it. Yay. All right, here we go. New scenario. Oh, this one's a limited time. I didn't even know I had a time frame for this. Um, good thing I'm doing it now. Jesus. Okay, view. Too many toddlers. Can an overwhelmed sim figure out how to give a bunch of toddlers all the attention and care they need to thrive? Requirements are three toddler sims. That's it? I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be seven toddlers and one sim. That would be a challenge. But then again, I kind of have a theme of making things unnecessarily difficult for me. So maybe this is thinking too much. Let's just do it. Start in a new save. We just have to get toddlers to reach a level three and four skills. Oh, oh no, that's actually gonna be difficult ah it's fine it's fine start in a new save oh right i forgot i had to make everybody okay Shh. mama's speaking well this will be easy i'm grabbing my sim self because who better than to suffer around babies than me i need to give her a makeover i can't wear bangs is is this the same do we look do we look the same oh, hold on i need the, the the deadpan sim look so we have me and I need three toddlers. I'm not gonna be Come related to them. I shut up. Come I would never have children. These children would have just been given to me, probably left on my doorstep. I'm like, well, I'm not an awful person. I guess I have to look after them. You know what? Maybe I don't want to see them. Maybe I don't need to know what they look like. Maybe that's probably for the best. Yeah, you sound a lot better when you're in there, buddy. Just gonna randomize their tra- Oh, this one's clingy. Oh. Baby one, okay. Now we need another baby. Baby number two is definitely a looker. He looks just like his mother, wherever she is. Listen, I mean, if they left you on the side of the street, kiddo, maybe um there was a reason for that. This is yellow, baby. It's yellow. And then random trait is going to be independent. I like this baby already. Perhaps it'll learn how to cook its own fucking food, huh? This one is leaf, baby. And the random trait is independent. Okay, all right. Maybe this will be a little bit too easy for me. Should I add an extra toddler? How much do I hate myself? I, I guess I hate myself enough to do this. And this one, what is that? What is that? I can't actually do this with more than three toddlers? Are you serious? What, what if I wanted to make this harder on myself? Excuse me? All right, fine. Go away, sock baby. I guess you were you were really the mistake, weren't you? Okay, bye-bye. So I have me. We have baby number one, okay? Yellow baby and leaf baby and uh we have to raise them to be functional human beings i didn't ask for this okay let's just go oh look at this happy family you could tell i really love these kids mm -hmm. <laughs> This does not matter. Maybe Brindleton Bay. I never go here. We just need the bare minimum, okay? I don't need to give these guys quality of life. I just gotta make sure they continue their life. So I have to get them to reach their skills before their birthday. Aging is off. Well, that doesn't make sense. Okay, fine. We'll turn aging on. It'll be normal. I'll do this for realsies. I really cannot be bothered to actually do like a really nice looking house. So I'm just gonna put everything in one room. Oh, who needs the house, actually? I just need need room for myself and a room for the toddlers we have a different living situation than conventional parents do okay i live separate from these children they're not even my kids so why would i let them into my house you know what i mean okay you know what just give me a second let me make this and then i'll come back because this is somehow important to me 
Okay, so I'm back. Um, so this is the current living arrangements for me and the toddlers. I'm sure you can tell that this one is mine and this one is the toddlers. Uh, this is my little kind of like studio apartment. That's the kind of vibe I'm feeling. I have everything I need. I have a kitchen. I have a television games console. Very important. I have a shower and I have a toilet. Don't worry about the hand washing situation. You can just walk all the way over here and wash your hands. Don't worry. I'm not a dirty bitch. In terms of the toddlers, I gave them everything they needed. They have uh, three beds right here. They have some porta potties. Porta potties? What are these called? Like little practice potties. Sorry, my bad. In order to learn all their skills, I just gave them tablets. You can tell I did not want to be a parent. And a rubber ducky they can fight over if they feel like it's necessary. And I've also gated it in because sa safety first, you know. It's not about stopping people from getting in. It's about stopping the toddlers from getting out and seeing the real world. Don't worry, they have two windows. Like, they don't need fresh air. They just need to see, like... There's life out there. You you can't have it, obviously, but it is there. Their skills need to reach level four. How about we just get the babies in there? Uh, you guys can immediately start learning skills. And look, because they have to walk all the way there, they're gonna learn a movement skill. You guys are doing great, come on. It looks like a little army. <laughs> And like any good parent, I am very much busy be doing parenting things such as and not limited to playing party games all by myself because I have no friends. Look, at least I'm happy. Yellow Baby's really taking their time. I feel like Yellow Baby's the runt of the group. That's probably the one that needs the most help. And in nature settings, Yellow Baby would be the one to die. But we don't live in those times anymore. I'm gonna lock the door. Already they're learning. They're doing a great job. Just a couple more days of this. This is uh, an unofficial advertisement for Coco melon uh who's sad i'm sad what i'm trapped inside the fuck you have an outdoorsy lifestyle excuse you or me if that's not a lie i don't know what is victor victor okay you really want to be outside that badly yeah the outdoors is actually not that fun waiting for my loved one to return from the war well so far this is proving to be a very difficult challenge i feel like i cannot wrangle these toddlers you know i never accept the welcome wagon you know i'm tired of always saying no sometimes you really just have to be like today i say yes welcome i love your sense of fashion go inside actually i need to shower can you guys leave my house for like 20 seconds while i shower thank you or not just stay there and take a take a take a slice of your own fruitcake and then eat it on my bed um excuse me are you kissing while i'm taking a shower this feels very inappropriate just feels very odd very strange sim culture is something i will never understand i'm sorry i wonder how my babies are doing oh they're all still on their tablets don't worry this is just normal child behavior so we now have floating fruitcake in the toddler room so now my sim is still depressed you went outside for like an hour calm down my sim literally is unnecessary in this challenge why do people say that raising children is hard i'm having a time of my life i have no responsibilities while having responsibilities all parents should be like me i bet even though my sim does nothing has no responsibilities doesn't have to worry about anything can game 24 7 i bet she'd still be the type to be like you don't know tired until you're a parent uh you're tired but i'm a parent so i'm like more tired than you look i have to build a sand castle <laughs> level two. Oh my god this is easy easy look we have to get them to to reach level four we're halfway there for one skill in one day are you joshing me i mean sure they're getting a little bit depressed meow 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 i fucking love cats this won't be a thing where i'm like oh this is so easy and then like an hour later i'm like tearing my hair out that's not gonna happen no this is gonna remain easy and i will prove it to you because i am a sims expert this looks like a happy childhood this is just an easy life mama's making herself some spaghetti she's probably gonna go play some more video games in a second because why would wouldn't she? And then, um, probably go to bed. I mean, parenting is such an exhausting day, isn't it? It's like, so I listed so many things already. Yeah, okay, they're getting a little bit depressed because nobody's speaking to them, but that doesn't stop their developmental growth, does it? They can still learn skills when they're depressed. I learn coping skills. And the best thing about them living here and me living here on my own, I ruined my spaghetti somehow. I don't know how the fuck I did that. Is that I don't have to hear the obnoxious sound of their tablets going 24-7 because I know parents get really annoyed by that and instead of taking away the tablet, they just 
get annoyed at the fact that their child's always using a tablet so I don't have to worry about that. You know, the thing is, living far away from your children means that you don't have to make any of the tough parenting decisions that plague the rest of parents. I live my life and they live theirs. <laughs> What the fuck? I hate children. Oh my god, he doesn't have a bag over his head. No, 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 put it back on. I don't want to see his face. Stop crying. This is called love and affection. And if you don't stop crying, you're not going to get it anymore. And that's the end of day one. And I feel like this is actually a li li little bit more difficult than I anticipated. But I am not stressed. And I am not stressing. All is well. All is fine. I can do this. I can do this. Why am I sad? Sad about evilness. Who's evil? I'm sorry. Is there somebody living in my house that I don't know about? Day two. It is now the morning of day two. I think I think that's the day we're on. And uh, baby is pooping. And you know that babies do that. We still have some flying fruitcake over here. Don't worry. I'm keeping an eye on the floating plate situation. And the rest of them are asleep and bagless, unfortunately, which makes me very upset. I feel like baby should have bags on them. As for me, I'm probably just going to grab some spaghetti and pretend that that children don't exist. No, I actually can't do that, unfortunately, because the uh, attention meter is constantly going down, and I feel like I actually have to do something about that. Okay, I get it. The babies are hungry. Leave me alone. Yep, this looks fun. This, I thought I would have a relaxing time, but I guess I have to interact with these babies. Lovely. Are, are you gonna eat the food? Or are you gonna throw a tantrum about it? Just fucking grab it. It's floating. It's your height as well. Don't play with your food. Just fucking eat it before they take you away, you bastard. Eat it. Eat it. Are you gonna eat it? Thank you. My god, what is that? That looks like egg. Where did you get the egg? Whoa. <laughs> Okay, you know, I don't like this game as much as I thought I did, maybe. How do I manage babies? How do I, you know, get them to be as self-sufficient as possible? I know they're babies, okay? I know that they're babies, and you're supposed to love them and nurture them and spend as much time with them as possible and set an example. But what if I just don't want to do that? Baby one is my favorite. Baby one doesn't bother me, which is very strange, considering baby one is clingy. I feel like there was something a little amiss in the code today that is just not working. Are you throwing a fucking tantrum? So I'm starting to realize that this challenge... What the fuck is that? Plum bite. Kids can have it. I don't care. I'm starting to realize that I hate this. Not because it's difficult. I will. I'm not going to say I'm throwing in the towel. I don't want to do that. No, it's just because I, I hate babies. I hate babies. <laughs> I hit level three for that baby. Oh, look, she's gonna starve to death. I guess I have to make her food. I have an umbrella indoors. Shagafanu. Shagafanu. Oh, no, I'm scared again. I'm scared again. Everything is just making me so scared. You're a grown-ass woman. Calm down. I don't care if I have an anxiety disorder in real life and you are my sim self, so you have it too. Why are you crying? Just stop. Just stop. Just behave. It was so easy the first day. Do I have to help you potty? Are you fucking serious? You, you do it in your pants. Just do it in a hole. Everybody, you're pooing right now. Everybody stop what you're doing and poo. All babies do is fucking complain. And I know that I sound like I'm complaining, I'm complaining, I'm complaining. But I have things to complain about. What, you shit your pants? And you call that a bad day? I call that a luxury. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, my little shit head. Go to oh my Finally, some fucking silence. I've never been prouder. Look at them. They're actually fucking sleeping and they're still alive. They're not dead. As much as I wish they were, they are not. Happy, happy, happy! Mama's happy! Why are you just standing there? Are you gonna go inside? And she's going outside with her food. Okay, you're. please don't disturb the children. You're gonna wake them up with your screaming. Sit the fuck down and eat your fucking fish tacos. Where are you going? Oh my god, what is wrong with this woman? What the fuck are you running in here for? Ah! I did it. Now, how did I feel specifically about this scenario? This was very different than the other two. I don't really know why they made it like a limited time. Maybe just because it's like, oh my god, a limited time, gotta do it now. It was okay. I like the idea of adding these challenges into your actual gameplay because at least you get something out of it. You know, at least you get a reward screen that's like, you did it, you know, instead of trying to come up with a challenge yourself. So I don't hate this. I don't. I really don't hate it. I do. It's just uh, tedious. Just tedious. And I feel like, would I rather 
rather just sit on my couch and do absolutely nothing? Or would I do math? Obviously, math is doing something rather than not doing something, but it's very tedious. So would I just want to do something tedious instead of not playing at all? No. I think at the end of the day, and I feel like we should normalize this a lot more, I just don't have an opinion. And sometimes that's okay. The only opinion I have is my opinion of children and babies. And I feel like my opinion has only gotten stronger. I hate babies.